Ballad of the Bean, written and narrated by Martin Riley, with music composed and performed by Jack Glover. Woke up this morning. Must have woken up at least three times before. It was the dark before dawn. Couldn't lie there in me dirty sheets no more. Put the radio on. Filled my head with the weather and the news. Most of it bad, but it drives away the lonesome blues. Brewed some coffee, burnt some toast. Cooked some porridge, because it's good for you. Went on Facebook, did some emails. Looked around for something else to do. Watered house plants, fed the cat. Played a tune, paid some bills. And then I checked the clock in the kitchen. Only 27 minutes past 10. And then I knew, I knew for sure, as I watched it ticky talking, I foresaw that today would be the day when old Boney would come knocking at my door with his scythe and sickly grin. Quick, 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 I had to get away to where old time outlaws hide out. Not in bars or tap rooms these days, the cafe. Raggy Boney has my number. Got to keep right out of his way. Better make out like I'm busy or it's curtains for me today. Doing nothing like something on the run from cafe to cafe. Community centre. You get treated sugar sweet in there by the girl behind the counter with her piercings, tats and purple hair. Buy a brew, pick up a paper, prop it open like I'm reading the news, stretch my legs, rest my eyes on the headlines and get ready for a snooze. What's it say? Another riot? Neo-Nazis on the streets again? New attacks on recent immigrants. Damn it. Now I'm wide awake. And then I hear a weeping and a wailing. Well, no wonder. But that isn't what it's for. Here come the mothers and the babies in a wagon train of buggies through the door. Just as I read that they've elected good King Herod for another term this year. That, with a racket that they're making, Means there's no chance I'll be safe around here. Raggy Boney has my number. Gotta keep right out of his way. Better make out like I'm busy. Or it's curtains for me today. Doing nothing like something. On the run. From cafe to cafe. In a world that's looking bleaker, by the second feeling weaker, will I find some Swedish fika in the cafe Kalanika? Coffee in a retro beaker, it's fair trade from Tanganyika. Served by Eric and Enrica, Los Baristos Exotica, with an Arvo toast paprika. At ten pounds a bloody chica, no change for a refuge seeker in the cafe. Kalanika. All around me, city hipsters keeping track of their online business. Clicky, clicky, clack go their laptops while they twitter on their phones. Or is what I hear the rattle of dry bones? Has the Reaper hacked into each MacBook Pro? A zombie apocalypse? Oh no! An online meeting of the living dead. Better find some other place to hide my head. Raggy Boney has my number. Gotta keep right out of his way. 
and I make out like I'm busy, for it's curtains for me today, doing nothing like something on the run from cafe to cafe. Scorpio and panic rising. Need to find a safe house soon. Somewhere super comfy cosy. Like my local greasy spoon. In I go. Then look around me. Oh, heck. Now what have I done? Without a high-vis jacket, I stick out like a sore thumb. And is that double extra English breakfast that I smell? Full fat Monty plus a fried slice. 12.7 HDL, bad cholesterol and carbo, heart attacking hounds of hell. Better run, their master bony will be here for sure as well. Raggy bony has my number, gotta keep right out of his way. Better make out like I'm busy or it's curtains for me today. Doing nothing like something on the run from cafe to cafe. Next stop, the artsy fartsy, where I buy some batik socks, then pretend to be a tourist in that cool place by the docks, followed by Victoria sponge cake and a pot of Yorkshire tea at the cafe Chintzy Wincy, always 1953, and where crying in the chapel sounds a death knell in my ear. Next up will be your cheating heart. I have to get out of here. But where to now? End of the day. Time to pick somewhere quick and lie low. At Pret, Nero, Starbucks or Costa. Whichever is first to show. Raggy Boney has my number. I've got to keep right out of his way. Better make out like I'm busy. But it's curtains for me today. I'm doing nothing like something on the run from cafe to cafe. Eureka! It's Costa. A clone, it's true. But you'll always find one around. Quick as a flash, I'm in through the door to be met with a wall of sound. Students, office workers, families doing 80 decibel chat while one table sings happy birthday. Two lovers are having a spat. A school kid screams out with laughter. Some dickhead shouts into his phone as the busker by the entrance belts the life out of on my own. So the stress is high and the queue is long. There's a new trainee on tonight, tall and dark-haired and pale of face, and something about her not right. She pours the white froth on my coffee, some chocolate on top. Then I see that instead of a heart or three coffee beans, there's a chocolate skull grinning at me. So would I like something to go with that? A pastry? A muffin, a cake, or what did she say? Salted caramel. Feel my legs starting to ache. Feel something sticky on its way up, en route to assault my brain. A cerebrovascular croissant with jam. Time to get moving again. Craggy Boney has my number. Got to keep right out of his way. Better make out like I'm busy or it's curtains for me today. Doing nothing like something on the run from cafe to cafe. Where am I? Somehow I seem to recall, tucked away down a lane near here, a sticky carpet, a snooker table, no frills, no thrills, but they sell cheap beer. A kind of old-fashioned working men's club. 
Every year it, it shuts down, almost. Then committee have a few drinks and decide, not quite ready to give up the ghost. Up the steps, in a stumble, murky in here, must be keeping electric bills low. But as I get used to the half light, I see some faces emerge that I know. Isn't that Ken? We used to go climbing. And Suki, who sang with our choir. Naomi, who rode an old Harley. And Bob, who believed Bowie was the Messiah. So many old friends. Some I've not seen for years. Old flames and some old foes as well. Shafiq, we fell out, reason why I forget. So I give him a hug. What the hell? Then I spy someone over his shoulder. Shafi says, Is there something amiss? You look like you've just seen a ghost. And I sigh and say, Well, it's like this. Raggy Boney has my number. I've got to keep right out of his way. I better make it out like I'm busy. But it's curtains for me today. Be nothing like something on the run from cafe to cafe. Then Shuffy steps off to one side, and I see who's walked in through the door. Got no bones about him. Well, that's a relief that I've seen that face somewhere before. So I say, do I know you? Know me, he says with a grin. I'm your oldest friend. I was with you at your beginning and I'll be there again at your end. And he gives me a wink and big mistake. Like a fool, I look into his eye and I see the Alpha and Omega with no room for reasons why. I see a double espresso black hole and our Milky Way swirling around and the living beans that grow from the earth to be sun-dried and roasted and ground. That's it! I freak out. I'm here and I'm gone. But he says, there's nothing to fear. In the end, it's all one. But I thought just for now, we could play a little snooker here. Then he orders a round, and we all relax. And I soon settle into me game. And as you might guess, I am here to report that I beat death that day by one frame. But next time Boney has my number, still I'm going to keep out of his way. Make out like I'm super busy, because it's curtains for me one day, doing nothing like something on the run from cafe to cafe. <laughs>